Okay, Sagittarius, you get your own special little separate video for October. Must be something important to say for you. And we have the Six of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. We're starting off with the Six of Pentacles. That means your finances are changing. There is money coming in and abundance. Something has shifted and moved for you to unblock um, unblock the abundance to come in. We have the Hierophant, the five, five, six. Wow. So there's something that you have reached at this point that it's becoming clearer and clearer that the choices that you've made in the past have paid off. And on this, so like on the peripheral, like it may look like those choices, well, not look, but feel those choices were really difficult and you went through some difficult times, but now you're able to go inside and really connect with that. So there is some neutral things happening here that, are ready to take place. We've got the Ten of Wands, the Ace of Wands. Wow. So <clears throat> there's two parts to this important message. Five of Swords and the Eight of Wands. All right. The cards that came out are in a neutral position here. And this is about whether it's based on a decision from the past. And <clears throat> you're going to be going on a journey, a different type of journey. Now, this could be a physical move. But this could also be a move in your career. And this could be a move in a relationship. It could also be talking about a past relationship a family member um, that has gone through a really, it's, it's almost like a quick journey from here to there. And on the onset of that, it looks as well, oh my goodness, so much has changed from this time frame to that time frame. But the universe is asking you to take a look at the journey itself because there are some specific things in there that you're going to learn from as you keep going on this this new um journey and depending on your decision the cards are going to go like this which means um ten of wands would be in reverse ace of wands would be in reverse five of swords would be straight up and the eight of wands would be, would be in reverse and there's something about a decision here. You can no longer hide what you've been hiding for so long and wanting. There's a piece in you that wants to perfect. And it's not about perfection. It's about seeing the different gifts. It's You can't perfect this. This is like life's lessons, life's journey. And that's what Spirit's trying to tell you. So... If you make a decision to not do anything, you're just going to be stuck up in the mind and you're not going to make any kind of move. So it's it's not a time about trying to figure stuff out with your mind. You have to, you have to, they're saying you have to connect to your higher self, loving yourself, all those things that you've been working on and inviting into your life. In, in order to move ahead with abundance. So that's the key thing. If you made a different decision, the other way, let's just turn this around. I like it when they give you this. You're in a neutral place. <laughs> this is what happens. Oh, this is in reverse now. 
the other side of the coin of this with five of swords, there's swift action. You're going to go from, from starting at the beginning and going all the way through a journey in a short period of time with swiftness. Like you're, you're not going to know what hit you kind of deal with the solar explat, uh, <laughs> solar eclipse. I wanted to say polar express. Maybe it's happening. <laughs> Maybe it's happening in uh, November and December. But anyway, um, <clears throat> if you're not in your mind trying to figure this out, which this is in reverse means you're not stuck in the mind. You're going by feeling. And that's a good thing because the universe wants to deliver this abundance to you. And it's going to take you in new directions. But you're going to have your intuition fired on. And it's just it's just like you think about something and boom, there it is. You've manifested it. And that, that's been happening a lot. Um, I've been seeing that showing up for me too. You put something there, boom, there it is. Boom, there it is. That's what this is saying. But the thing is, <clears throat> Sagittarius... If you don't decide, the universe is going to decide for you, especially in October. So which would you rather be doing under confusion and really stuck? Or you decide and you're, you're taking command of the energy and how it's supposed to move. But you have to decide. And I mentioned this in my September newsletter that it's time to get off the fence. And so if you're still sitting there, spirit's going to decide for you. The universe will decide for you. Um, Sacred ones, I also would like to hear, <clears throat> what is the piece that Sagittarius is working with uh, on their journey? Like, what is, what is... What is it? And what's the outcome? You're working on your pentacles. You're working on bringing more abundance. And you're being very diligent and careful about how you spend your money, where you spend your money, um, making sure you have a budget. And that's good. Keep following that. Keep following that. Okay? But give yourself room for expansion and growth. And that might be you're going to go travel. You're going to create a business for yourself. Okay. You're so what it's showing here is that <clears throat> there's an opportunity to step out of the comfort zone and do something you've never done before. And I think, wow, I guess this is why <laughs> they're like, you missed Sagittarius when I was putting this, the general read up and. I couldn't believe I missed it because I have a list. <laughs> but there was a special message for you guys. All right. And this is explaining the outcome. Okay. Isn't this amazing? The lovers. All right. So remember, it's a general reading. Take what resonates. This could be about a new love relationship that's coming through. That could be karmic in nature, or maybe it's your twin soul twin. But it's also reflecting something here really important of the balancing in of the masculine, feminine inside of yourself. And that's been a difficult piece for so many people right now. And the masculine is struggling and the divine feminine is in is showing up in a empowerment through empowerment. Um, I would suggest listening to the beginning of the astro general reading for the astrological for all the stuff. Like just go to the timestamp and read the beginning of that. And then um, the ending is very pertinent for you in this case. If it's a career move, um, you're moving into something that speaks to your spirit and your soul. And uh, something that is is different than what you're used to. And this also could mean that you're breaking open to new relationships about creating abundance. So 
You might be working with a team on a project that could bring abundance and something that you get to use your creativity with. I like that. All right, so isn't this interesting? So what I just, I just want to get another deck here to clarify um, hopes and dreams and what's going to show up in October for you other than, okay, this is just explaining the message and the path of what's been going on and that you have, you have a choice to make. These need to go, when you make the choice, they go up or down. So if you're going to get stuck in your head about it, you're not going anywhere. But like I said, if, you know, spirit's going to choose for you, if it's not feeding you, if it's not, it's, they're going to choose. And you might be really shocked about what's going to come in. So, uh, outcomes, spirit. Truly grateful. Thank you so much. Knight of Pentacles. It's very slow moving. Slow. It's a slow process. That's okay. Because you're like, you know, you're going from ace to the wands here. Like, but it's, you know, it's solid. You're going to know it's solid. Whether it's relationship based, you know, a new love. You're starting a new relationship, starting a new career, starting a new job. Uh, we have the Hermit right side up and the Knight of Cups in reverse. All right. So we have two Knights here. And so the Knight of Cups is fulfillment in self. And you may not feel that you're worthy of this piece. You may not feel you, you should be able to do it. You may feel that it's too much and you're not ready, but that's, that's not true. Um, it's, this is, this is Taurus here. Like the, this is a strong earth energy as well. The hermit, you might have to go within and just be with yourself to see what it is that's triggering you from the masculine at this time. Uh, there's a lot of masculine energy here. And the thing is that I want to share about this spread is that you have to get in touch with your, your feminine side. It is not about showing everybody how to do the right thing or it's not big active conceptive energy. There's movement, but it's slow movement day by day. You're going to set a foundation for yourself. Um, it's a little contradictory to what this says. If you make a decision and you get out of your mindset, it's going to move, but it's going to move in a really good way. Like it's going to move with passion and things that make sense to you. But what I like about this is that as it's creating abundance, you feel gratification and intuitively connected. I think that's an important thing to say about this. Um, we have the queen of wands. Yes. So you're going to be very on top of how much energy you expend. King of cups at the end of this, whether it's the end of 2024 or into mid 2025, there's a lot of gratification here of being on top of being emotionally fulfilled and also being able to take action with much magic inside of it. Wheel of fortune. Okay. Is in reverse. It's in reverse because of the decision that you have to make here. And this wheel of fortune will turn around once you've made that decision, it's not going to be like the most amazing thing ever if you choose where you are in a mind construct of confusion and stuck and negative self-talk. But if you turn it the other way where you have this movement of being independent, being very good with money and having enough to go travel and having enough to go take a class. And it it's very dependent on how you balance your masculine feminine energy. This will turn right side up and you will realize your fortune. You will realize the abundance that's coming your way. 
but it's going to be over a course of time and it's going to take time to build. But what's so beautiful about this is that you can do it in your own timing, what works for you, and that'll feel gratifying. And also you'll be feeling fulfilled and that you, you are in control of your emotions. Nobody is dictating to you. You are the one that's doing this, this walk and this dance. Wow. That's, that is a very powerful read for you, Sagittarius. Um, I'm glad that we could do this reading for you. Now you just have to decide which are you going to choose? How are you going to go about it? Right? How are you going to go about it? If you trust in spirit, it's all going to just show up and you won't have to work hard at it. But you just follow your intuition. Follow your intuition. And go within and keep working the balance of the masculine and feminine. All right, that's for you, Sagittarius. I hope that helps and have a great month.